Listening test. In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. The entire listening test will last approximately 45 minutes. There are four parts, and directions are given for each part. You must mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Do not write your answers in your test book. Part 1 Directions For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then find the number of the question on your answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Look at the example item below. Now listen to the four statements. A. They are looking at a laptop computer. B. They are greeting each other. C. They are sitting at a table. D. They are moving some furniture. Statement C. They are sitting at a table. Is the best description of the picture, so you should select answer C and mark it on your answer sheet. Now, part one will begin. Number one. Look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A. He is adjusting a microscope. B. He is looking into an instrument. C. He is putting on a lab coat. D. He is turning away from the desk. Number two. Look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A. A man is boarding a coach. B. A man is looking for a street sign. C. A man is crossing the road. D. A vehicle is entering a garage. Number three. Look at the picture marked number three in your test book. A. The men are putting up some posters. B. The men are entering a store. C. The men are standing by the windows. D. The men are cleaning the counter. Number four. Look at the picture marked number four in your test book. A. The women are tasting some food. B. They are reading a newspaper. C. A server is taking an order. D. The man is pointing at a framed picture. Number five. Look at the picture marked number five in your test book. A. The woman is doing the dishes. B. The woman is reaching into the cupboard. C. The woman is preparing a meal for her family. D. The woman is leaving the kitchen. Number six. Look at the picture marked number six in your test book. A. The fence is being painted. B. Some leaves are scattered on the ground. C. An outdoor area is wet after the rain. D. The plants are lined up against the wall. Part 2. Directions. You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. Now, let us begin with question number seven. Number seven. Where are the meeting rooms? A. This afternoon. B. I will be running the meeting. C. Down the hall and to the left. Number eight. When will Ms. Pearson call me back? A. Sometime this afternoon. B. You can use the office phone. C. I can't remember his number.
Number 9. What date will the budget meeting be held on? A. Can you hold the door? B. Maybe August 27th. C. The revised report. Number 10. My computer won't turn on. A. OK, a y I'll connect you to a technician. B. It was about 5 gigabytes. C. With some other commuters. Number 11. Do you want to announce the pay cut to Jane and Peter or should I? A. Well, they're not even in my department. B. Yes, they told me already. C. The merger will take place next month. Number 12. Do you know who got the promotion? A. We advertised the sale online. B. I can help them. C. The website said it was John. Number 13. I haven't sent you the meeting schedule yet, have I? A. Every Wednesday. B. Sure, I'll order them right away. C. No, I've been waiting for it. Number 14. Where is the accounting department located? A. On the fifth floor. B. Into a different apartment. C. He is an accountant. Number 15. Should I give the presentation? A. It depends on how busy you are. B. I bought her a birthday present. C. There are five. Number 16. Excuse me, I have a reservation for six under the name Preller. A. I had a conversation with him. B. This way, please. C. The clock is slow. Number 17. How did you learn about our free classes? A. That's how I study. B. I saw the poster on the door. C. What can I do for you? Number 18. Why are you still in the office? A. I might have seen it. B. I have a proposal due tomorrow. C. Three more days. Number 19. Which class would the children enjoy more, dance or swimming? A. The dance class seems more popular. B. You should start this weekend. C. They went to the park. Number 20. Didn't Max tell us to organize the break room? A. No, the conference room. B. Over a hundred doctors. C. A 30 minute break. Number 21. Do you want me to place the order now? A. In chronological order. B. No, don't worry about it. C. The packaging was too flimsy. Number 22. How often do you visit the bank? A. Usually twice a month. B. The bank opens every Saturday. C. I'll meet her next week. Number 23. You've read all the customer reviews, haven't you? A. When did he arrive? B. The store manager. C. 
I looked at them a few times. Number 24. Who's going to drive us to the airport? A. I called us a taxi. B. Oh, she did? C. Gate 23 at 10 a.m. Number 25. Where can I leave the stapler? A. In the basket on my desk. B. Step by step. C. The application forms. Number 26. Can I put these dishes on the counter? A. A set of 12. B. Let me take them for you. C. The dishwasher is broken. Number 27. Shouldn't she have gotten the files already? A. Yes, they cancelled it. B. No, Tom forgot to email her. C. In the filing cabinet. Number 28. Why can't I pay with my credit card? A. Did you check the expiration date? B. On the monthly statement. C. No, only the online store. Number 29. Should we go for Italian or Mexican food? A. Yes, it's delicious. B. I prefer Mexican. C. A one way ticket. Number 30. Are you going to volunteer at the company picnic? A. Didn't the sign up deadline pass? B. I was at the animal shelter. C. It'll be at the waterfront. Number 31. Which landscaping company should we hire? A. Tracy researched the companies last month. B. I don't think we need to buy those. C. How much did it cost? Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two or more people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. Professor Wong, I wanted to let you know that your three o'clock appointment with the vendor has been moved to the beginning of next week as you requested. Great. Thank you for getting that done. Now that my afternoon schedule is freer, why don't we close up the office early and continue our research tomorrow after we're well rested? Thank you. Now I can go home early and get a nice head start on some housework that I have been putting off. Number 32. What does the woman say she did? Number 33. What does the man decide to do? Number 34. What does the woman say she will do tonight? Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. Harriet, our seasonal sale starts next week. The warehouse is packed with the latest imports, so I think we should try to make some big sales. How about setting up some new displays with the new furniture? I know it worked well for sales in the past. That's a good idea. Before we decide anything, let's get together with our floor display team to talk about how we will make space for new furniture. Okay, I'll email them to set up a meeting. Number 35. According to the man, what will happen next week?
Number 36. What does the woman recommend? Number 37. What does the man want to know about? Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation. Hi, I'm here to pick up an order. It is under the name First Financial and was supposed to be ready by noon today. Right. That would be the large lunch order of assorted deli sandwiches and sides. I really a p o l o g i z e but one of our chefs was suddenly hospitalized, so we're seriously short staffed today. Could you give us an hour or two? Well, the order is for a scheduled meeting at our firm with some clients, so I really can't keep them waiting that long. Well, in that case, if I move our other orders around, I can probably have yours ready in about 20 minutes. Number 38. Where is the conversation most likely taking place? Number 39. According to the woman, what has caused the problem? Number 40. What does the woman offer to do? Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Annabelle. I just reviewed the blueprints for the new development project on the downtown property. I noticed that there are a lot of changes to the third floor. Yes, the developer decided to completely redesign the third floor. I think we should talk to our contractors and construction workers. I agree. We should prepare a detailed outline of all the changes that have been made. Do you think we can have this ready by Friday so we can have a meeting with them? I believe so. I will reserve the large conference room. Number 41. What are the speakers mainly discussing? Number 42. What do the speakers agree to do? Number 43. What does the man ask the woman to prepare by Friday? Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Miss Fry, I've been looking at the schedule you sent me for our yearly on site training sessions. I think we're going to have a problem with seating. Do you think so? We were able to accommodate everyone last year, and we're using the same meeting rooms. That's true, but it was already crowded last year, and we've hired quite a number of new people since then. I don't think there will be enough space given all the additional staff. I didn't think of that. Why don't you amend the schedule and add two additional training sessions on the following day? That should work. I'll send you the schedule when I'm done. Number 44. What are the speakers discussing? Number 45. According to the man, what is the main problem? Number 46. What does the woman suggest doing? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Oh no. Michael, look at this mess. I was hoping the contractor would have all the work finished by now. I know. We can't possibly invite our new clients into the office with all this stuff lying everywhere. We don't want to make a bad first impression. You know, there's a great Italian coffee house across the street. Maybe we should meet them in the lobby and take them there for the meeting. Good idea. I've heard the coffee house serves excellent desserts, too. Number 47. Why does the woman say, Look at this mess? Number 48. 
Who are the speakers planning to meet? Number 49. What does the woman suggest? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Thanks for getting here so fast, Brittany. Your employees installed this water purifier yesterday, but it seems we already need the cold water dispenser to be fixed. I see. I remember that you placed this order on our recommendation that this product is very reliable. I am surprised that there is a problem. Well, when the unit was installed, we did ask them to hurry. There was an emergency meeting yesterday at the main office, so the entire office had to go downtown. I see. Let me take a look. Here we go. They didn't set the cold water thermostat to an appropriate temperature. It should work without a problem now. Number 50. What is the main topic of the conversation? Number 51. Why did the man go to the main office yesterday? Number 52. Why does the woman say, Here we go? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. Kenny, I want to talk to you about the work you and your team did on the case last month. The partners and I appreciate your work. Thank you, Janice. There was a lot of work and we had no choice but to stay overtime to prepare the requested documents for trial. I have some facts I want to double check with you. Can you tell me your source for this document? I need to make sure the figures are accurate. Ah, I personally went to the company headquarters to get them. I also spoke to their head accountant and she confirmed that the information is the most up to date. I see. Well, since these are accurate, I predict this trial is going to be over sooner than we expected. When that happens, I will finally take some time off to go on vacation. Number 53. Which industry do the speakers most likely work in? Number 54. Why did the man meet with an accountant? Number 55. What does the woman say she will do? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Hey, Jason, do you have time to take these drawings to the 12th floor? Tina said she needs them right away, but I'm a little tied up right now. Actually, I have a meeting in five minutes. I couldn't make it back in time from Tina's office. Oh, okay. Tina's team needs these for their meeting today, but I'm expecting an important call, so I have to stay near my office. Hey, Jeff, can you help? Sorry, I am leaving for a meeting too. If they only need to see the drawings, well, I just scan them and email them over there. That's true. We have a scanner that is big enough. Oh, that's right. Thank you. I'll check with Tina to see if that would work. Number 56. What does the woman need help doing? Number 57. Why does Jeff say, I just scan them and email them over there? Number 58. What will the woman most likely do next? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation Stephen, are you still using the photocopier in the break room? I need to copy the budget reports for the meeting tomorrow when you're done. Unfortunately, the copier seems to be acting up again. I called the repairman before lunch, but he won't be able to stop by until tomorrow. You should probably use the copier on the first floor instead.
Thanks for letting me know. How many times have we called the repairman about that copier? It seems like he's here every week. Tell me about it. It's supposed to be such a durable model according to all the reviews I've read. It's disappointing. Number 59. What does the woman plan to do? Number 60. What does the man say he did this morning? Number 61. Why does the man say, Tell me about it? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation and table. Now we can start finalizing the plans for Mr. Acaster's retirement party. As you know, Jane emailed everyone to find out which day would work best, and yesterday she informed me that the 27th has the most votes. Great. Before anything else, we should choose where we'll go. I've made a list of restaurants with rooms we can reserve. Let's see. Kiwi Island has great food, but our office doesn't have that many employees. Reserving such a large space will cost more. So, I think we should reserve the smallest one. Me too. You call them up and I'll write an email with the party information. Number 62. What information about the party did the woman receive yesterday? Number 63. Look at the graphic. Which restaurant do the speakers choose? Number 64. What does the man say he will take care of? Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and invoice. Hello, you've reached Martin Electronics Rentals. How can I help you? Hi, this is Bethany Richards from Grove Accounting. I'm calling about our monthly rental bill. It seems we were charged an extra fee. I know we always pay our bill on the 15th, and it has never been a problem before. Let me check your account.、Ah, I see the problem. Our billing due date changed to the 10th last month. All our customers were sent a notice with their bill. Maybe you didn't see it, so I can remove the extra charge just this once. Thank you so much. I'll make sure to pay the bill by the 10th from now on. Great. Also, I see that your contract with us is going to expire in March. If you can stay on the line, I can let you know about our new rental packages. Number 65. What kind of business does the man work for? Number 66. Look at the graphic. What amount will be taken off the woman's bill? Number 67. Why does the man ask the woman to wait? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and weather forecast. The photographer called. He wasn't able to get any good shots of the seaside inn because of the rain. We'll have to reschedule the photo shoot. Oh, really? Let's look at the weather report. Later this week looks all right. It does. Even if there isn't much sun, it'll be better to do it on a less windy day. Why don't we tell him to try again then? I'll also have to call the Seaside Inn and let them know about the change of schedule. That's right. I hope they don't get upset about having to pay the photographer twice. He charges for the trip even if he can't get the shot. Number 68. What activity are the speakers mainly discussing? Number 69. Look at the graphic. Which day do the speakers choose? Number 70. What does the woman say she will do?
Part 4. Directions. You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. I just have a quick announcement to make before we finish up. We're expecting a lot of shoppers here next week who are picking up last-minute groceries for the holidays. Starting on Monday, we'll be extending our store hours until 10 p.m. We need cashiers and stock personnel to work extra hours all next week, so you'll have a chance to make some overtime pay. If you're available, please put your name on the schedule hanging in the break lounge. Number 71. Who most likely are the listeners? Number 72. What will happen on Monday? Number 73. What can listeners find in the break lounge? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, Mr. Diaz. This is Mariella Gibson. I am calling because the IT department needs to install some security software on your computer. We installed the software on all the other computers in your department last week. However, you were on a business trip during that time. We'd like to address this issue before the end of the week, if possible. You do not need to be present for the installation. All you need to do is send an email to our department telling us when it would be convenient for us to come and work on your computer. Thank you. Number 74. Which department does the speaker most likely work in? Number 75. What does the speaker imply when she says, However, you were on a business trip during that time. Number 76. What does the speaker suggest the listener do? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. Before we go, there's one last thing I wanted to mention to you at this meeting. Next month, our company will start a new employee development program, which will encourage employees to participate in training classes and workshops that will develop skills they need for their job. If any of you are interested, Greta Janos is in charge of employee training for our company, and she has the resources to help you find a workshop that is suitable for you. I'll send an email to all the managers with her phone number, so you can speak to your manager if you'd like Greta's guidance. Number 77. What is the speaker mainly talking about? Number 78. Who is Greta Giannis? Number 79. What will the speaker do next? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following introduction. I would like to welcome you all to the 24th Annual Boston Film Festival. We have the honor of receiving Director Abbott as our guest on the discussion panel this year. Jonathan Abbott is famous for his groundbreaking techniques for creating special color schemes in each of his movies. He has worked with many famous actors and actresses and will offer his insight into what makes a film engaging. Before we welcome Director Abbott to the panel, I want to direct your attention to your registration packet. Please verify that you have your ticket to tonight's film screening. If you are missing your ticket, please report to the box office after the discussion. Number 80. Where does the introduction take place?
Number 81. According to the speaker, what is Director Abbott known for? Number 82. What are the listeners asked to do? Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following broadcast. Today, in local business news, the Young Leaders Association announced it will double the number of annual grant winners next year. The increase has been made possible by the sponsorship of Pineville Tech's president, Sanford Richard, who was once a grant recipient himself. With Richard's contribution, four young entrepreneurs will be selected to receive enough grant money to cover the costs of their first year in business. Applications open next month, and interested parties are encouraged to submit a business plan and a 2,000-word essay detailing their goals over the next five years. Number 83. What is the broadcast mainly about? Number 84. According to the speaker, who is Sanford Richard? Number 85. What is the Young Leaders Association planning to do next month? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following excerpt from a workshop. Today's workshop will be centered on job interviews. Do you find it difficult to speak about your achievements in a job interview? It's more common than you think. Today we're going to practice what to say during a job interview. I will teach you how to stay confident, focused, and how to answer questions professionally. Let's start by watching a short video. Please write down any questions you have while watching it. Number 86. What is the topic of the workshop? Number 87. Why does the speaker say, it's more common than you think? Number 88. What are the listeners asked to do? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following talk. Thanks for your interest in our innovative new accounting software. Are you reluctant to spend a fortune on an accountant to manage your finances for you? Have you ever tried to do it yourself, only to find out that you've made a mistake that has cost you money? Then our software can help you. Its new and improved interface makes it easy for anyone to manage their money on their own without any accounting expertise. Let me show you how simple the program is to use. Number 89. What product is the speaker selling? Number 90. What does the speaker say the product will help avoid? Number 91. What will the speaker do next? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following tour information. Okay, everyone. This is the next stop on our Sights of New York tour. Please take a moment to look out the bus window to your left. This historic building is the Glen Opera House, where we'll be watching an opera performance at 3 o'clock. Before we enter the Opera House, you have two hours of free time for lunch. Benny's Italian Restaurant is located just across from the Opera House, and beside it is Parker Salad Bar. It's a new restaurant, but Parker Salad Bar has an excellent lunch menu. Now, I'm going to give you each a ticket to get into the Opera House. Please come to the theater 20 minutes before the performance starts. Number 92. What will the listeners do at 3 o'clock? Number 93. Why does the speaker say, 
Parker's salad bar has an excellent lunch menu. Number 94. What does the speaker say she will do next? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following telephone message and seating chart. Hi, this is Belle. I'm wondering if you're available on Saturday? A client gave me two tickets to the musical Revival at Wesley Theatre. I was thinking you might be interested. The seats are apparently really good, right in the centre and directly in front of the stage. I know you really love musicals, so you're the first person I thought of. Mark Beattie recently won a Best Direction Award for the show, so I'm sure it's a really entertaining performance. Call me back and let me know if you're free. Number 95. What is the purpose of the call? Number 96. Look at the graphic. Which section does the speaker have tickets for? Number 97. Who is Mark Beatty? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following telephone message and identification badge. Hello, I called to speak to the head receptionist, Gary Kroll. This is Jasper Cartwright, the consultant who is doing some work at the third floor office for a few days. You gave me my temporary ID card when I checked in at the reception desk this morning, but after I got settled into my workspace, I noticed that the card expires before the end of my contract here. If you could issue me a new one, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Number 98. Which department is the speaker calling? Number 99. Look at the graphic. What information does the speaker say is incorrect? Number 100. What does the speaker ask the listener to do? This is the end of the listening test.